Hey guys, welcome to this online session by Tech Canvas. We were getting lots of queries on the comparison of two of the top BI tools that is Power BI and Tableau. So in today's session, we'll discuss that. But before we proceed further, do subscribe our YouTube channel so that you never miss out any of our upcoming videos. So let's look at the agenda for today's uh, session. First, we will understand what is Power BI and Tableau. Then we will look at the data visualization in both of these tools. After that, we differentiate both these tools based on few parameters. Post that, we will investigate the pricing followed by the functionality, product support, licensing, infrastructure, and scalability in both these tools. And if you're looking uh, you know, to get certified in any of these tools, please visit Tech Canvas website to get more details. So without further delay, let's get started. Let's first understand what is Power BI and Tableau. So Power BI is a business analytics tool provided by Microsoft. It was developed in 2013. The main aim of it is to provide business intelligence and interactive visualization. It provides self-service business capabilities and allows end user to create their reports and dashboards on their own. It is a cloud-based service with the desktop-based interface, which is easy to understand and work with. Whereas Tableau is a data visualization tool used in BI industry. It was developed by Tableau Software in 2003. It can change raw data into an understandable format without coding. User does not require technical or programming skill to generate reports or dashboards in Tableau. Now let us look at the data visualization in both of these tools. So first let us understand what exactly the data visualization is. Data visualization is a graphical representation of information and data using visual elements like graphs, charts, and diagrams, etc. Instead of going through the complex and large amount of data, the same can be understood easily and quickly using the data visualization. Now question comes, which BI tool should you choose uh, for data visualization? So well, that depends. Uh, if you are looking for a customized data visualization, then you can go for Power BI as it allows user to import data and drag and drop the visual elements to come up with the customized report. It also allows to convert data from multiple data sources and come up with the interactive visualizations. Whereas when it comes to data visualization using Tableau, then it is majorly used for pure visualizations. That is, if you are looking for more organized and clean approach, then Tableau is the option for you. Data visualization in Tableau can be created using uh, worksheets and dashboards. It allows to interact with multiple data sources and work well with larger data sets. Now let us move forward and discuss few of the parameters to differentiate between these tools. Our first parameter is performance. So Power BI can handle limited set of data uh, with better performance. Power BI's performance is not great when it comes to working with larger data sets. Whereas Tableau can perform better with larger data sets. Second parameter is data sources. So Power BI and Tableau both can easily connect with most of the servers and databases like Oracle, SAP HANA database, PostgreSQL, SQL database, MySQL, JSON files, text files, XML files, etc. Now let us discuss the data capability in both of these tools. Power BI can handle up to 10 GB of data when it comes to desktop version. Anything beyond 10 GB, the data needs to be uploaded on cloud, that is premium capacity. If it is a local, local database, uh, then Power BI just pulls the data and does not import it. Whereas Tableau works in a columnar based structure, that is it only allows to store unique values to every column. This is how it can fetch billions of reports uh, you know, in Tableau. Our fourth parameter is application. 
Power BI is used for reports, dashboards, and custom visuals, whereas Tableau is used for ad hoc analysis and long run operations. Now let us discuss the integration part. So in case of Power BI, user can easily integrate with different data sources or applications like SharePoint, Azure, PowerFlow, Power Apps, Excel, and other tools as well. Whereas Tableau is used to uh, use for more scalable approach and can easily integrate with uh, including all the Microsoft tools and other tools as well. Sixth is data shaping. So Power BI offers query editor that allows user to do many things in a very easy manner and is more flexible. Whereas Tableau does not offer any of these services. Data modeling. So when it uh, in Power BI uh, pro provides uh, Power Pivot and DAX, uh, which are more flexible and accessible to the users. Whereas Tableau does not offer any of these services. So our final parameter is level of difficulty in learning. So Power BI is comparatively easy to learn and understand as compared to Tableau. From both learner perspective as well as from the business perspective, it's easy to understand and grasp. Now, since we have discussed the parameters, let us move to the pricing part. So when it comes to pricing, then Power BI is more affordable option as compared to Tableau. Power BI offers three subscription tiers, that is desktop, pro and premium. Desktop is not chargeable and completely free. Pro costs $9.99 per user per month and comes up with uh, 60 days of trial uh, period. Premium plan starts at $4,995 per user per month as per the storage resource. Whereas Tableau offers creator, explorer and viewer subscription. It offers 14 days of trial period. Creator pl plan starts at $70 per user per month. Explorer plan starts at $35 user, uh, dollar per user per month. Whereas viewer plan starts at $12 per user per month, which is a bit higher as compared to Power BI. So if you look at the initial cost perspective, Power BI is cheaper than Tableau. Now let us differentiate both Power BI and Tableau based on some functionalities. So our first, first functionality we have is uh, product support. So in Power BI, customer support is limited for free BI accounts. However, users can get their queries resolved in communities. Power BI offer uh, robust support and uh, documentation to its users, whereas Tableau support comprehensive knowledge base support for its users. Our second uh, functionality is infrastructure. So Power BI has software as a service uh, infrastructure, whereas Tableau is, has uh, flexible infrastructure. So when it comes to uh, Scalability part. Uh, so Power BI has good scalability for larger data sets, whereas Tableau has much better scalability when we talk about larger data sets. Now, guys, let us wrap up this session by concluding which one is better to choose Power BI or Tableau. So honestly speaking, uh, one can't say directly that Power BI is better or Tableau is better option than other because Power BI can be a good solution for smaller organization or even bigger organization who are looking for more affordable BI solutions. Whereas Tableau can integrate with, uh, you know, huge volume of data with better performance. Still, if you want to conclude it, all it all depends on user business size and their requirement. And if you talk about the career scope in them, then career in both these tools is of higher relevance as majority of the companies are looking for talent in these skills. Lastly, from learning and development perspective, Power BI is easier than, uh, you know, easier to learn and understand as compared to Tableau, right? So with this, we are good to close today's session. Thanks for watching and happy learning.